A memorandum from Assistant Attorney General David Highsmith to Speaker Judy Wanpat earlier this week states that the federal management team is seeking $19.7 million this fiscal year to fund the various projects in their master plan. But Dr. James Kiffer, one of two federal managers appointed to oversee the implementation of the plan, says that is not correct. The first funding that they have called for is for next fiscal year, and it is not $19.7 million. In the schedule that we provided to the judge, and we don't know what the judge is going to approve, but in the schedule, um, what we were, what we have, are seeking is 11 million in 2011, and 3 million in 2012, and 1 million in 2013. But even 11 million in the first fiscal year is asking a lot for an ambitious plan that calls for constructing a new facility and hiring 118 additional staff members. The legislature's health committee chairman, Senator Frank Uggen, is concerned. The first question that comes to mind is, what's wrong with the existing facility over up in Tumont? Rather than expanding that in to include the adjacent property lots, uh, why look at constructing a whole new building to accommodate the services? And I, I think that at the end of the day, the, the issue is, are we able as a government to provide the services that are mandated not only by the court injunction and by the management team, but most especially that are mandated by law to provide our people who need those services? And in this particular case, I think that when you're looking at where the money's going to come from, it's going to be extremely difficult. Dr. Kiffer emphasizes that no money has been ordered yet, and the judge is cognizant of the financial woes faced by GovGuam. They are awaiting the judge's order on how much must be paid by GovGuam and when? I would suggest that they wait until the judge puts out, or, uh, files the uh, financing program or plan uh, for the plan of action that was approved last week. Um, I would suggest that it doesn't appear to me that any money has been ordered yet uh, that is yet to come. And until it does, I, I don't know how they can respond to something that really has not been put out by the court. A letter is being drafted right now and it will be forwarded over to the judge asking for consideration in terms of the government of Guam's finances because even if we're looking at $19.7 million of which we've appropriated $2 million in fiscal year 11, that's a huge chunk of money that the government of Guam just does not have at this point in time. Uh, there may be options out there, but we're requesting additional time to be able to identify the funding source, to be able to see if, in fact, we can enter into a loan agree agreement or just an outright grant from the federal government to support this particular endeavor. But are you still willing to work with GovWAM officials to maybe adjust the plan? Is that an option? Are you? I don't know if that is an option without the attorneys going back to the court with reasonable arguments, and that would be up to the judge. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News. I don't think that that's...